Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21 Stable. I'm an old guy gaming. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new series that we're going to start here on the channel. So you might be thinking, oh gee, you just started a new series on this channel, the wilderness thing. And yes, I did, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel that series. And here is why. I got about six episodes into that series. And while I was recording the sixth episode, I was thinking to myself, all right, how am I going to really make this work according to, you know, the vision that I had for it? Because I put some restrictions in place. Um, one being that we, we, we weren't allowed to use vehicles. And I, I set that up on a 10 kilometer map with rugged terrain. And the problem was that as I took a new job from the trader, they'd get further and further out. I mean, one of the jobs that the trader had for me was almost seven kilometers away. And I'm thinking, all right, this isn't really going to work too well. Uh, plus the fact that without vehicles, you know, it's not only a matter of being able to travel quickly, but we lose all the storage that the vehicles provide for us as well. So I, I, I like I said, I, I said, all right, I need to rethink this. And so I gave it some thought and I've come up with uh, a reimagined, we'll say, um, story that we're going to do here. And we're going to call this series Ranger Apocalypse. OK, so this is going to be fun. We're going to call it the Ranger Apocalypse series. The basic premise is that. Um, OG is an army ranger who's inserted into the quarantine zone in the uh, Kazafi Mountains, which is what the name of my seed is. I haven't changed the map, by the way. We're going to use the same exact map. And his task is to restore all of the ranger stations and the military installations across the map um, with the idea being that then the army can start to... Uh, move troops back into those places and slowly take back over the territory. Um, and so, you know, as I was thinking this through, I'm going, well, why don't they just, you know, send like a whole army in? But the but the problem is, I'm making all this up, right, too, by the way. The problem with that is they attempted to do that, but when they landed a large, you know, squad of soldiers, it just attracted hordes and they got wiped out. So they, so they figured, all right, we got to get, um, you know, a very experienced veteran ranger to try and do this um, on the down low, you know, do it stealthily, do it quietly, which will fit in with the stealth build that we're going to use. Um, so his secondary objective is to make contact with the traders in the region and assist those traders and help supply them, which will, of course, will then allow us to, um, you know, blend in the whole trader mechanic of this game with our storyline. I am also going to allow vehicles for the reasons that I stated earlier. It's just I don't think it's going to work very well. Plus, it doesn't make sense. For, you know, a modern day experienced army ranger to not use vehicles if vehicles are available, you know, to him to use. So we're going to go ahead and allow vehicles after all, because, it, again, it just wasn't going to work without them. Um, this is going to be a semi nomadic playthrough. Um, OG might have, you know, a, a real basic home base, but we're, we're not going to build a, an elaborate base or take over a POI and, you know, ha have this really cool base. That's not the point. Um what we're going to do is we're going to fix up these ranger stations and army installations, and those will become outposts that OG can come back to and spend the night and have some basic supplies there. Okay. Um, also, because I want to focus on the story and have fun with it and not to take a bazillion years to level up, I'm going to go ahead and set the XP for this series to 300%. Keep in mind that OG is an experienced army ranger and he, you know, he already knows how to do all that stuff. Um, but I'm not going to also just automatically, um, you know, cheat in the XP either. So we'll handle that by just increasing the XP by 300%. So we level basically three times faster. A couple other things to note. Um, when OG is inserted into, um, the territory, he also has some supplies that are dropped with him, uh, with its own parachute. But unfortunately, um, those supplies, which basically contains just about everything that he needs, get destroyed. And you'll find out in the opening sequence how that actually happens. Um, but it's also reasonable to assume um, that OG would have a few things on his person jumping out of the, the plane. Um, he would most likely have a sidearm and some extra clips of ammo, and he would most likely have a knife. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in a green level pistol, nine millimeter pistol with four extra mags of 15. So I'll have a total of 75 rounds, 60 in the mags and, and 15 in the gun. Uh, and I'm also going to give him a green level knife because again, it just doesn't make sense that he would not have those things on his own person, you know, when he jumps out of the plane. 
So he'll have that to start with, but you know, once he runs out of bullets, he runs out of bullets until he can, you know, find or make some more later on. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for the introduction uh, to what we're going to do. I'm very much looking forward to this and I hope you guys are too. Uh, let's go ahead and get the game settings going first. And then I'm going to end this introductory video and then we'll start episode one in earnest. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to new game. Um, as you can see, we're going to stay in the North Kazafi Mountains. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to call this um, OG Ranger. Okay, so for our Ranger series, you can see this is a 10-kilometer map. Um, and if you're interested in the seed, just create a random map that's 10 kilometers and put in 1967, which is my birth date, um, into the generator uh, if you want to play along with me on the same exact map. Oh, that reminds me, there is one other thing that we're going to do differently as well. Um, it's reasonable to assume um, that OG would have studied a map of this region and probably even has a map with him um, before, you know, he landed. And so we're going to sort of kind of semi open up the map to us and assume that OG already knows the region and the territory because, of course, during his briefing, he studied it. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll just do that um, with, with a couple of little admin commands in the game, um, you know, to, to simulate that. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and set all this stuff. Um, this is going to be an unlisted server. Uh, we're going to make this uh, insane like we always do. We're going to make it a 90-minute day like we always do. Uh, we're going to keep the Blood Moons at 7 days. We're going to uh, bump this up to 64 enemies. All of the zombies are on nightmare speed all of the time day and night but feral sense is only on at night making night extremely dangerous and as mentioned we're going to bump the xp up to 300 percent uh, on the advanced tab we're going to leave all that the same we are uh, disla uh, disabling loot respawn time though i mean once something's looted it's gone it doesn't magically reappear drop everything on death nothing on quit enemies are on we will take um airdrops every third day but we will not mark them so og has to go find uh, those airdrops because I kind of like that setting with airdrops because it's it's like old school um, you know a seven days to die and that should take care of all of our settings all right guys I'm going to go ahead and start the game and we will start the first episode and have some fun with this so I'll see you in what's it called the Kazafi Mountains <laughs> 